Yeah. So in the last session. Sir, yes. In the last session, we tried to implement one thing. We tried to implement one form with the different approach. But now I suggest, I recommend you. So this we try to implement. Right? This we try to implement. Yes. Correct? So this can be implemented in the grid template area way also. And I want you to try this. Yes. Each grid item can be flex box. Now you how do you achieve this thing? So this whole would be one grid yes. grid item, right? Yes. And set this grid item to flex box. Yes. You getting my point or not? Yes. So set this grid this grid item. So whatever class you will apply over here, this would be having a flex box. Getting my point? And direction would be the column. So this label and this text box. Correct? Yes. One, uh, one column is uh, this template area and in that flex box. Ha, inside that particular class, yes. the grid area, whatever grid area you will assign to this, that would be having display flex. I can I can show you but I want you to try okay so here I will write it complete this complete this using grid template area template area also you can skip using grid template area or don't use grid don't use grid just complete this form complete this form using flex getting my point yes sir. so don't use grid without using display grid also you can complete this just by just by using flex Getting my point or not? Yes. Where here you can you can make each each item each grid item each you can make here you can make few <coughs> grid items to be flex boxes. For example, for example, the place where you need to show, you need to show label and below and text box below, correct? And text box below. Hello? Yes. Now, you will complete the whole layout by using flex and grid template area. Getting my point? Okay, let's move ahead. So this is all about CSS layouts. Lot of things we have seen. Okay. CSS three pseudo selectors. A new topic will start today. CSS3 pseudo selectors. Pseudo selectors. Now, what do you mean by pseudo selectors? Hello? What do you mean by pseudo selectors? CSS3 pseudo selectors. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll see that CSS three. Not yet. Not yet. Pseudo classes. Okay, pseudo classes. Then one more page. One more page. Pseudo classes. CSS3 pseudo elements pseudo classes pseudo elements and before this I would like to cover one more thing combinators CSS3 combinators hello Hello, combinators, now what do you mean by CSS3 combinators, so let's start with the combinators actually, so that we can use it in a pseudo classes and the selectors, combinators. So in CSS3, in CSS3, combinators are often used to define the relationship between the different HTML elements when selecting and styling them. They allow you, here you can say, they allow you to target the elements based on their position or relationship to the other elements in the document structure. CSS3 have, have given you a lot of what you can say combinators. First, descendant selector, also called as. So, here we can say H2, descendant selector, child selector. child selector adjacent sibling selector hello and general sibling selector we can say general sibling selector and what general sibling selector now, what do you mean by these things? Let's first type the code and then we will see. Day 17. And here I can say combinator cmb.html and cmb.css cmb.html combinators let's import the css let's import the css link rel cmb.css correct so what is first selector descendant selector what do you mean by descendant selector? What do you mean by descendant selector? Can you imagine what is a descendant selector? 
okay let's do like this so section we can say or here here i can have a div inside that paragraph so i can say para1 and here we can say para2 and here you can say a section inside that there is a para 3 para 3 and outside this div para 4 and para 5 okay now go to the css and div space p so descendant selector comes here background color we can say cadet blue space p space p so this space p is called as background sele uh, descendant selector descendant name itself is telling you descendants of this div so here you are saying give me the descend or select descendants of the div so you are making the combination here you are making what combination so descendant selector denoted by the white space character and selects the elements which are descendant of another element which are descendant of the another element the descendant selector denoted by the white space selects an element that are descendant of another element so these p's can you see para 3 if you go here if you see the output para 1 para 2 para 3 right para 1 para 2 para 3 the para 3 is inside section but still it would be considered because it's a descendant correct it is what descendant all the p's inside this div okay any question on the descendant selector now you have something called as child selector you have something called as child selector now what i wanted to do i will just comment so let's write it descendant descendant selector i will sorry descendant selector okay let's do in this way and then whole and soul we can comment it out now child selector div arrow p background color cadet blue okay let's write name now itself child selector and here background color cadet blue background color what cadet blue now what do you imagine what will happen can you see only one two section will not be there can you see three is inside the section a direct children of this div which are paragraphs are selected the direct children of this div which are paragraphs are selected direct children which are paragraphs are selected child selector did you get this yes see this section is not there 
the section has not been added. This section has not been added. Only para 1 and 2. Only para 1 and 2. Correct? Adjacent sibling selector. What did I say? Adjacent sibling selector. Now, what do you mean by adjacent sibling selector? Now, so here we can say div inside that para 6, para 7, para 6, para 7 and para 8, para 9. Para 8, para 9. Adjacent sibling selector plus operator. Plus operator. Now see adjacent sibling. There are two divs with P's. So this div with P, this div with P. Now see what it will select. Refresh it. Refresh it. Now now CMB just a minute let's comment this out first child selector and now adjacent sibling selector And here plus adjacent sibling selector. Yeah, see now. Para 4 and para 5. Now, what do you mean by adjacent sibling? Well, did I did we write for the child selector? Let's write it in the notion child selector. Hello? Am I audible? Yes. Yeah, and here we can also add code for the descendant selector. So this is the descendant selector. Code child. Let's add it to the child. This thing. Adjacent sibling. What is the adjacent sibling selector? The adjacent sibling selector selects an element that is immediately preceded by another element with the same parent. Adjacent sibling selector selects an element that is immediately preceded by another element. See here. Can you see this is a div and after that immediately there is a para. This is a div and after that immediately there is a para. And so here, 4 and 8 are selected. Adjacent sibling. So here you are saying, after the div, immediately sibling. Sibling means from the same parent. So div plus p. So after the div, if there is a p, after the div, if there is a p, please select it. Getting my point? That is an adjacent sibling selector. Adjacent sibling selector. I will copy this. And paste it. Now general sibling selector. What is the general sibling? The general sibling selector select. Correct. The the. The general sibling selector selects all the elements that share the same parent and preceded by the specified element. Right? And symbol for the general sibling selector. Let's do this thing. General sibling selector. 
general sibling selected and the tilde sign tilde and what tilde sign now go here and see 4 5 8 9 because this is a one div after this div there are two paras 8 9 8 9 after this div there are two paras 4 5 after this div there are two paras 4 5 that's why it has selected in this way let me push this much code and just go through it in a minute combinators and if you get any query you can ask me i'll be back in a minute Any question? okay let's do one thing let's move all these three in css3 selectors let's create a one page css3 sorry selectors and inside this three Let's move the combinators, pseudo elements, pseudo classes. Correct? Any question about CSS3 selectors? No. This is clear, right? Okay, pseudo classes now. What do you mean by pseudo classes? What do you mean by pseudo classes? So when you talk about the pseudo classes, Remember that we are trying to understand, we are trying to understand the different things which will help you in selecting the CSS elements. 
okay so here i can say new file psd or ps classes dot html pscls dot html and here pscls dot css html5 sudo classes p s e u d o p s e u d o classes what are the sudo classes so sudo classes are used basically sudo classes are the selectors remember that sudo classes are the selectors css3 sudo classes are the selectors that allow you to target element based on their state or position based on their state or position within the document tree the sudo classes are preceded by sudo classes are preceded by colon sudo classes are preceded by colon and can be used to apply the styles to elements in various conditions so some commonly used sudo classes we will see right so here so here what i can do a first sudo class we will see hover right hover so uh, let's say box width 100 px height 100 px and hover and what hover effect we need to give the hover effect so how do you give the hover effect here we can say just a minute just a minute so here i can say dot box colon hover and background color cadet blue so let's create a div sorry div class box div and what class box what happened okay css has not been imported and some default color we can give a background color a background color and tick white did we import the css no ps pseudo classes cls dot css can you see i'm just hovering can you see that hello i'm hovering and see what's happening hover effect correct what do you mean by hover effect this so such kind of things can be done by means of pseudo classes such things can be done by means of what pseudo class well we can do this thing for anything let's do one more example for the anchor we have anchor say https 
my website here and and like this okay now i want to provide some effects a colon hover a colon hover and we can say color is brown i need to give a brown color when i hover if it is active if it is what active hover then there is a one more thing a colon visited these are built in properties remember that and what we have seen a pseudo classes preceded by the colon 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 pseudo classes preceded by colon green visited is green active a colon active active and we can say color hot pink like this getting my point now go here refresh it can you see green if i go to the website and i come back can you see it becomes green getting my point it becomes what green so few pseudo classes commonly used pseudo classes are there we have seen now now let's have few more pseudo classes you got the idea what do you mean by pseudo class so so i will list down few pseudo classes so here we can say hover h2 hover h2 sorry h2 active h2 focus then h2 focus colon checked colon checked and there are few more there are a lot of things are there checked then enable disable h2 colon enable sorry h2 colon disabled correct so hover selection element what is hover selection element when the mouse pointer pointer is over it it is often used for creating the interactive hover effect active selection element state of the button selection elements while it is being activated it is being activated or clicked commonly used for styling the active links for the buttons focus selection elements it gains the focus see here selection elements it gains the focus so let's go here input type text and id hash ip or nm or id is equals to nm so here we can say hash nm colon focused background color red okay refresh it can i say on the on the focus background color is red right similarly we can have a radio button input type a radio id rd 
hash rd colon hash rd colon checked or this can be written this is one way because you have given specific id consider that you have not given id we can do something like this i also in the css input whose type is equals to checkbox whose type is equals to checkbox and if that is checked and if that is checked background color should be cadet blue see in this also there are multiple input types right in the css there are lot of input types available in the css so if you simply write only input so all the input types should be getting selected correct all the input types should be getting selected but i want to differentiate on the basis of type so you can write something like this type checkbox refresh it and can you see the yeah something is happening over there or input type value okay something is happening i think hash rd Let's try to give rd this is also working hash rd no same thing but you can do both the things i will comment this out i will comment this out so that you will get to know instead of this you can select in this way input colon type is equals to oh so input type radio we have given i'm sorry that is the problem checkbox input type checkbox input type checkbox now refresh it okay so background color fine no problem just remember in this way only if what's happening c h e c k checkbox background color checked what is the state we have written c h e c k e d input type checkbox just a minute So let's try to do something like this already label for which id this already i am checkbox refresh it no i think this will not work let's try to have another property border 1 px solid red i got it input colon check spelling is correct input type checkbox input type checkbox
just a minute now what is this not important i am going to come back at the time of specificity just remove it input type checkbox which background color red i think this will not work let's try to inspect it yeah i got can you see user agent style background color initial it is getting set and this guy is creating problem the default just a minute huh? Just a minute. Eh? Yeah, see now. Can you see background color? It is getting changed. So that happens. It was conflicting. If you remove this part, I will remove it. You know what do you mean by WebKit appearance, Moz appearance? These are the user agent styles, right? We have seen this thing. And these define your element in the particular browser. So in our case, in our case, what is happening? So this checkbox is given to you by browser Chrome. And the styles for this are not getting changed. If you see here, user agent style, user agent styles, user agent styles are conflicting with your styles. So sometimes what you may need to do, you may need to first reset the browser styles. So here you are resetting the styles which are written by the browser. And then you are applying your styles. Correct? So this is how we have solved this problem. It's a good learning for you. Okay. So what we have seen is our active checked. So when you say checked, Selects the input element. Remember that you are selecting the element. What we are learning? Selectors. Inside the selectors, few pseudo classes. Power is the pseudo class. Active pseudo class. Focus, checked. And this. Enable, disabled are enabled and disabled. So there is a enabled 
and disabled input boxes can be enabled or input boxes can be disabled Selever selects the elements that are either disabled or enabled right so here you can go disabled can you see disabled by default it is enabled but you can write disabled also if you see disabled you cannot write anything into this correct and if you want to select only disabled checkboxes from the whole page i want to select only disabled checkboxes so i can use this correct any question this is clear right these are only few classes there are a lot of other classes available but at least you should get the idea of pseudo classes what do you mean by pseudo classes so these things are called as pseudo classes okay if you want to add code you can we can add it but it is anyways available in the here css so here i can say css3 pseudo pseudo classes just go through the code for one minute and then we'll move ahead Hello? Yeah, I have pushed the code. I have a little emergency. I need to go. Okay. And I will upload the recording. Yeah, code have been pushed. Yes, thank you.